all right so starting off the very first day of this whole thing was going to be hush it's on netflix right now it's always been on netflix and it's still really good i remember i think early 2016 when this movie came out i think don't quote me on that but i remember thinking okay it's january what's on netflix i was looking at the poster it's kate seagull and this guy in his white mask okay you know probably a typical slasher and i was pleasantly surprised and spoilers obviously this movie's like four years old now kate seagull is a deaf a woman who's also an author who lives out in the in in the middle of nowhere because she needs her alone time to write this new book and she's having a hard time and her friend comes comes and visit and then she comes back with the bring back a killer so i guess so because of her friend she's in this sort of situation even though she's deciding to live out in the middle of nowhere this movie is just a really good like cat and mouse game like every time you think kate skull's characters you know smart and getting the upper hand over this killer uh he comes right back with another like either an arrow or something he, he's like green arrow or something the killer that, who, who eventually a mask is this one guy from from the Belko experiment and uh, the guy also down in the bunker in 10 Cloverfield Lane. That's the guy. Don't remember the guy's actor. I mean, yeah, he, he's he's cool, I guess. He actually has the opportunity to kill her at multiple times, but then, you know, he finds out she's deaf. So, he's like, you know what? He's gonna have some time, uh, some fun time with her, mess around with her, get her phone, use her friend's phone, cut out her internet, cut out all her power, slash her tires. At one point, he almost kills her goddamn cat. Like, he's just, like talking to cat as if, you know, it's kind of the human. He's insane. And then there are moments too where she actually like gets him, shoots it, his own arrow on his shoulder. Uh, her fingers get smacked and shit on her door slide. That was pretty brutal. And then near the end, you think she she dies because she decides to go out and you know, she gets killed however it's these different endings that she has because you know she's a writer so she's trying to think of any every ending and you know, what she can do she eventually just stays in the house until he comes inside she like feels his, his breath he breaks in stabs in his knee she purposefully lays down for bait flashes i think a light and then the alarm so he can't hear you know slashes and whatnot he almost kills her by choking her and then you know he eventually bleeds out and then she makes it out she she survives the ending shot is the cops coming in and yeah it's it's still it's just really good like this is the third time i've watched it again first time surprise second time still liked it it's the third time and it's still really good like just little low budget small scale movie. and it's shot pretty well too in this one location and it's not too long i think it's an hour and 18 minutes or like it's not over over an hour 30 minutes which is good it was it was super fast he got out quick it was really good kate seagull and this actor this guy's actor who i can't remember his name i'm so sorry both play their roles perfectly he was crazy creepy and fun at the same time while our protagonist you know the, the, i guess the the damsel in distress is trying to figure out ways to get out despite her disability i believe this is also similar to another movie that i haven't watched a lot of people have mentioned to me i, I don't remember the name hush still really good uh next on the second day is going to be this movie called holidays i'm super excited it's going to be a horror anthology i'm super super big fan of horror anthologies don't get too much of them nowadays so yeah that will be uh day two 